Look, Spencer, if I am honest with Paulina and true to my wedding vows, then there is no way that Rachel can touch us. A charming thought, Jake, but very naive. Don't underestimate Rachel Corey. I gotta make a choice here. I choose Paulina. I just hate to see you lose her. I'm not gonna lose her. And all your dreams of success. Spencer, I'm be successful, all right, but I won't have to lie to Paulina to do it. Jake, can you really see yourself as part of the Corey family? It's not gonna be the Corey family. It'll be the McKinnon family. I'll marry Paulina. We'll have scads of kids. You know how much the Corys mean to Paulina. She'll want you to work for Corey Enterprises. She'll beg Rachel to give you a job. I can deal with that. Yes, and Rachel will go along for Paulina's sake. She'll give you some token assignment in middle management because she knows that pushing paper clips will make you miserable. It's not gonna happen. How long will it be before you realize what you've given up for Paulina? Before you start blaming her because Rachel's got you under her thumb. The marriage would never last under the those circumstances. The marriage will last, believe me. How? How could it last? You'll never be able to take over a major corporation. You, you'll never know what it feels like to take the bit in your teeth and pull a billion-dollar empire. I'll Where are you? My own, own billion-dollar empire from scratch, just like you did. Mm. But I never had to play by Paulina's rules. Ah, well. Good luck, Chaco. I truly wish you the best. Hmm? Yeah. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. You know, I only wanted what was best for you. All right? Harrison Foundation. Yeah. I'll tell you what, why don't you meet me at the Daily Grind in half hour? This meeting is definitely long overdue. Kelsey Harrison, is that you? A.K. the quicker picker up. Let me guess, the doctor is making coffee house calls. Well, it's my day off, but I was too uptight to stay at home. Uh, I was just hoping if I hang out down here, maybe Brad or Ryan would call, you know? Can I scrub you down a table? Yeah, well, actually, I came down to see if there was any wood. Well, pull up a dish towel and wait for all the good it'll do. No news from camp? Nope, not a peep. Oh, you know, last time Ryan was up there, he almost got himself killed, and I keep having the same feeling. Wait, like... what? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're having vibes? Tell me. Well, well I, it's not too clear. It just feels like the last time. Like he's trapped in a cave? Confined in some way. I... Probably psychic deja vu. Oh, you know, he always does this to us, and he just takes off, leaves us in the lurch. I've really had it. You know, when he gets back, John's really going to pay for this. John. Ryan. I met Ryan. I can't think about John. I'm too worried about Ryan. Let's start with this morning. John left for a month's vacation, and you felt... Like I really blew it. How? Because I let him get away without settling anything. About the two of you as a couple. Right. I went back to the farm to work it out. He was already gone. He probably thinks I'm not even interested in a relationship now. Well, then there's only one thing to do. What? Tell him how you feel ASAP. How? You call him. He left me a number where he can be reached till tomorrow. Oh, oh Frankie, no. No, it, it wouldn't work. Why not? You were there when he left. The tension between us was so thick. Can you imagine what it would be like on the telephone? I'm afraid it would make it worse. Oh, I'm afraid. Now, there's a good motto if you never want to have a relationship. Hey, you Billy. Welcome back. A few weeks out of town and all hell breaks loose. Oh, what now? Your friend Ryan has gotten himself in so deep, even his brother, the senator, won't be able to fish him out. Look, my wife went through this once before and she almost died. These last few months she's been suffering the effects of this. I can't let her spend one more night as a hostage. I don't care what it takes, we have to find her! I know how difficult this must be for you, and I'm sorry if I upset you before. Yeah, well, uh, we 
We've all been on edge lately, haven't we? Look, I realize that your relationship with your brother is complicated. But isn't there something that you can do to help get Ryan out of jail? You still care about him, don't you? I know that he hates being behind bars. Weren't you upset that he came up here chasing after Victoria? Look, I'm trying to put my personal feelings aside until we can get this whole mess straightened Then out. you do still have feelings for him. Wouldn't you prefer that he stay away from my wife? No, that's what you want. Why can't you just be honest about it? Honest? Honestly, I think that we'd all be a lot better off with Ryan behind bars. How can you say that? Because we're dealing with a dangerous and volatile situation here. Ian Rain is an unknown quantity. We don't know what might set him off, and my wife's life is in his hands. Yes, but we know that he wants a meeting with Ryan. <sighs> and, if, and if he gets that, maybe he'll let Vicky go. Ryan is too hot-headed. All he cares about is playing the hero. They both almost died up here. I won't let that happen again. Ran into the police downstairs. They have a lead. They think they know where Ian's taking Vicky. Okay. What do you say we raise the stakes? Say two out of three this time. You lost. It's your turn to tell the truth. About what? Brian Harris. What do you care? Last night you told me that he didn't trust his father. That's right. He hates his guts. Has it always been that way? Yes. I think he would rather see Carl and Leavenworth. And Carl kidnapped you, took you to the cave just to set you two up. That was the plan. Did it work? Obviously not. I saw you dancing with Ryan at Amanda's party. Well, that was because Grant asked me to dance with Ryan. And did Grant ask you to team up with Ryan to set me up at the docks? No. That was Paulina's idea. All right. Mm, right. Yeah, right. 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 And what about lying to your husband, telling him you're going to San Francisco and actually you're coming here to meet up with Ryan? I thought Ryan's life was in danger. And what about the phone call? Okay, all right, I know, I know, the phone call. I called Ryan, so sue me. I mean, let's just drop this whole Listen, thing, you're all right? One, you're the one who wanted to play for the truth. I'm famous for stupid ideas. Okay. Let's say both brothers broke through that door to rescue you right now. Which one would you turn to? Grant or Ryan? question I have ever heard. Quit avoiding it and answer it. Well, it's ridiculous. And it's completely hypothetical. No one is coming through that door to rescue me because you've hidden me in the middle of East Nowheresville. Which brother would you turn to? And besides, Grant doesn't even know that I've been kidnapped, all right? He thinks I'm in San Francisco safe and warm with my father and with my little boy. Look, he's only four years old. Listen, will you just stop avoiding it, all right? I told you the truth. Now it's your turn. Well, it's ridiculous. I married Grant, didn't I? Why? Because you couldn't marry his brother? No. I chose to be with Grant last winter. I walked out of that cave, and I walked into Grant's arms, not Ryan's. And you followed Ryan here. <sighs> yeah. Carl didn't have to kidnap to get you two together. You're doing it all by yourself. You don't even know what you're talking about. Why can't you admit it? Look, what I can't do is stay here one more second with you. Let me go! Stop it! Just stop it, all right? Just calm down. Just listen. All right, some species in the rainforest come together naturally. They climb trees, ford rivers, scale mountains just to be together. They live by the rule of nature. Man breaks those rules at his own peril. doing this to me. Okay, I go away for a three-week course in hostage negotiation. While I'm gone, Ryan rejoins the force. The Cory Gardner turns out to be a suspected kidnapper. He escapes custody, goes out on the lam. Ryan gets bounced off the case. He goes after the guy anyway, and now he's AWOL in Canada. Did I leave anything out? No, I think he hit all the bases. Well, there's more. Move over. I just heard from my buddy in Canadian security. Ryan's been arrested. What? He's being held without bail for bringing a handgun across the border. He's a oh, cop. No. Canada has a strict gun control law, and he broke it. Oh, see, I knew it. I could feel that he was confined. Look, I've just taken over the case against Ian Rain. Ryan pursued that case, countermanding a direct order from the chief of police. Now, I am trying to save Ryan's butt, OK? 
Billy, uh, other than the occasional vibe, I haven't heard from Ryan. And you? Uh, well, I, I guess there is something you should know. Brett Gardner went up to Canada to look for Ryan. And maybe if you could find her, you could get in touch with him. Well, how is she involved? Well, see, Brett and Vicky were in Ryan's office. Vicky? Vicky's in on this, too? We don't know. Well, we'll see. They were in Ryan's office, and this mysterious message came over the computer from Carl Hutchison saying that Ian Rain was in Canada. Ryan was right. Hutchins is still alive. Right, and Brett went up to warn him, and, well, we haven't heard from her since. From bad to worse. If Carl shows up, Ryan's troubles are just beginning. Look, if you hear anything, and I mean anything, you call me. You got it? Got it. Okay. Oh, oh man, poor Ryan. Oh, shit.